Hello, my name is Stuart, and I'm a landscaper trained by golf course superintendent for the care of Western Washington lawns. Today I'm in Magnolia, and uh, this is a lawn that I am heavily thatching. It's underneath these big old trees right here, and uh, it just gets a whole lot of moss. Now I've gone over this twice, and uh, thatched it once, raked it, thatched it, thatched it again, in the process of raking again, and. Um, this is a, let me see, this is August 9th is what today is, and I'm gonna come back, excuse me, this is September 9th, and I'm gonna come back at the end of September and aerate seed and fertilize this lawn. And um, here's the deal. This is all light and fluffy and really, really easy to rake. Um, even though this is an irrigated property and um, I've taken so much out of here. I really have. and uh, But it's still light and fluffy and easy to rake. In springtime, this would be a major event. Thatching a lawn this big. And um, the soil is wet. The grass plant has a lot of moisture within it. It's just very heavy. If temperatures drop, uh, it would take a very, very long time for a lawn to heal. This is why I like to do a lot of my thatching here in the fall time especially on larger estate yards. This is just one chunk of the lawn that I'm doing here today. And, uh, but I just wanted to show you, um, a lot of this, like I say, is just moss. And uh, so I'm removing as much as I can. The client's gonna come in, bring some soil, and do some regrading and things like that. And then I'm gonna come back, like I say, end of September, probably on a Sunday morning, get out here early, like around 7.30 or so, and get to work. This is Stuart with the Air Eating and Thatching Company. I just shoot these videos on the fly as they happen. And uh, thank you for watching my video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi, this is Stuart with the Air Eating and Thatching Company. And now I have completely, uh, I've gone over this lawn twice and raked it all up into piles for the client. And I did a rough raking here using a debris rake. This type of rake that I use where I can move bulk very heavy. Uh, the client's going to take his Honda lawnmower and, and cut it down low after this. Quite often he uses a 25-inch cow trimmer here on this part of his yard, but after thatching he's going to use a, a Honda rotary lawnmower and just suck up any loose twigs and uh, get all that uh, horizontally growing grass uh, that's standing up cut down low. Once again, this is Stuart with the Aerating and Thatching Company. Hey, thanks for watching. Hello, my name is Stuart. I'm a landscaper trained by a golf course superintendent for the care of Western Washington Lawns. Today is September 27th, and this is a lawn that I've just aerated, seeded, fertilized using an organic fertilizer. Put on 50 pounds of a soil amendment and 50 pounds of an enhanced limestone. And I'm going to come back in about three weeks to a month and just see how this lawn is doing. Once again, this is Stuart with the Aerating and Thatching Company, and thank you for watching my video. Bye bye. Hello, this is Stuart with the Aerating and Thatching Company. Today is October 26th. I just uh, had a chance to come by and check out a lawn here. I'm in the Magnolia neighborhood. And uh, I had previously thatched, then aerated, seeded, and fertilized this lawn. I put on some lime and a, a soil amendment also. This is an organic client of mine. Once again, this is Stuart, and thanks for watching the video. Thank you. Bye.